In many cases, we're printing images not because we really wanted a print per se, but rather because we need to share those images with a client or someone else. And sometimes you can email those images to someone or otherwise share them electronically. And in those cases, the ability to print to a JPEG image can be very, very helpful indeed. Here I've created a contact sheet, for example. I had navigated to a folder that contained some images that I want to share with a client. And then I came into the print module and on the left panel chose the 4x5 contact sheet template from the template browser. I now have everything configured exactly as I'd like it so that I can print all of these images as a single contact sheet. If I scroll down to the bottom of the right panel, you'll see that in the print job section, not only can we print to a printer, but we can also print to a JPEG file. I'll go ahead and choose that option from the pop-up. I'll leave the draft mode printing checkbox turned on. That's the default setting for printing to a JPEG, and it enables us to adjust the JPEG quality setting, for example. The file resolution is really not critical for an image that we're producing in this way, but I'll leave that set to the default of 300 pixels per inch, just in case the image ends up being printed later. For JPEG quality, I'm going to set the option to 80%, that represents a pretty good compromise between image quality and file size. And in this case, I plan to email the photo, so I'm certainly concerned about that overall file size. The actual dimensions of the JPEG will be based on the size that you established with your template and the page setup. That happens to be 8.5 by 11 inches in my case, but you can also customize those file dimensions if you'd like. I'm perfectly happy with the settings as they are, so I'll leave that option alone. I'll leave the profile set to sRGB. This will help ensure a more accurate and saturated version of the image, even if it ends up being viewed by someone in a non-color managed environment, such as certain web browsers. Scrolling down, you'll see that there are no other options I really need to concern myself with here since I'm not printing the image to a printer. So now I'm ready to print to a file. I'll click the print to file button, and then I'll navigate to the location where I want to save this JPEG image. And I'll just call this contact sheet. So after specifying a location and a file name, I can simply click the Save button and Lightroom will process all of my images and assemble them into a single JPEG contact sheet. I'll go ahead and minimize Lightroom and then on my desktop you can see that I have that contact sheet in JPEG form. I'll double click to open the contact sheet and you can see there are all of my images printed as it were in this JPEG image so that I can email this image to a client and they can view it on their computer just as though I had provided them with a printed contact sheet. So as you can see, the option to print any layout you'd like into a JPEG file really gives you tremendous flexibility when you want to save your images in a format that is easy to deliver electronically and yet reflects a printed layout.